Greetings, Israelites and Gentiles. You see the article. I was fired by at Mr. Dean for my email to Brain Women and Allies. My corp account has been cut off, so I've been immediately fired. Happy face. A computer scientist who works on algorithmic biased data mining. Also an advocate for diversity in technology and co-founder of Black and AI, researchers of ethnicity, background, and artificial intelligence. Abruptly fired. But first, giving all the honor and praise to the Most High, our power. And I thank you, Father, for your shy Christ, our oil, and for shedding his precious blood for us. I also would like to thank you, Father, for the Holy Spirit, our mother, who leads guides, counsels, and comforts us. And again, she said, was abruptly fired. For some, they will say, you're being insubordinate. And even some of the brothers be like, I was fired immediately. And some, just like this. In the bathroom. Oh man, I wait till you come out. Boy, bring your ass off up in here. What you talking about? You wait till I come out. I smelt your shit for 22 years. Now you can't smell mine for five minutes. Shut the door. <clears throat> now your mama told me what happened to you yesterday. What? That was stupid. How the hell are you gonna get fired on your day off? As you see, this is true. Some of us have been fired on our day off. And it's not funny. Reason being, before this CV, it would be hard trying to take a day off, especially if you're sick. Sick day nothing, you better get here. Nevertheless, interesting enough, the importance of this comical act is what Craig, dad, said when he came in the bathroom and was like, I come out. I smelt your shit for 22 years. Now you can't smell mine for five minutes. So you see, right? Mm-hmm. You already know where I'm going with this. We have to deal with more work, less pay. Racial bias in regards to positions. Unappreciative for the hard worker. Last hired and the first fired. It's awful. Just doesn't make any sense whatsoever. So many ills, and typically the individual that was terminated, there is no justification for them being separated from their employer. Absolutely none. That's most of the time. Which in turn, that is the natural. What about the spiritual? Does biased traditions, or for better words, opinions exist within the so-called Christian communities of churches? Or does racism exist within today's churches? Did two types of Christians exist during the exception of the church? Well, the answer to all these is yes. However, I will be going into this as it ties into much more important topics. Let's take a look also to see what would be their excuse for her abrupt termination or separation. Hi everybody. Um, so I want to tell you a little bit of a story today. Um, so when I was a, a PhD student at Stanford, I uh, was very excited about um, predicting things um, from images. So I, I, my specialty is in computer vision, so we were very excited about using publicly available images um, to predict certain things like demographic characteristics, voting patterns, etc., etc., right? So one of the things we were doing is we were saying, hey, um, we can predict crime rates. Right, so um, on the left you can see the actual uh, crime rates, um, and on the right you can see predicted ones. But I, as time went on, I started seeing some issues with this kind of work. Right, so some of you might might guess what I'm about to say. So here you can see um, estimated drug use in Oakland. Right, on the left, which is pretty pretty spread out, and then on the right you can see. Um, crime reports, drug uh, reports of drug use, right? 
they're not as spread out as um, on the left-hand side. So when you're doing this kind of prediction from data, what, which data are you using? You're not using the estimated drug use data, you're using the reported drug use, right? Which is heavily, heavily biased. And in the US, um, you know, you'll see that the places where um, are, that are reported to have this kind of drug use are in overwhelmingly poorer areas and um, basically like places where most, you know, black and brown people live. When speaking in regards to data, correct data, as she said, they are not accurate, but based upon recent and reported data. As it said, it reports that are biased in places in overwhelmingly poor areas. And what would be the difference in any type of this data? For example, let's use CV. Reports state on June 23rd, 2020, and you all remember this report, coming from the US News, Healthcare for Tomorrow, and I quote, our study shows that neighborhood socioeconomic and household crowding, basically poor families living in households, are strongly associated with risk of infection. This may explain why black and Hispanic people living in their neighborhoods are disproportionately at risk for contracting the virus, researcher Dr. Alexander Melamed said in a Columbia Universal news release. So let's see who picks up this data. So statisticians like Christian Long have talked about what's called um, a runway feedback loop. So right, like law enforcement does this kind of analysis trying to predict crime hotspots, right? So they have ground truth, and what's their ground truth data that they're training from? It's who was arrested for a crime, which crime report uh, was reported. It's not the same as who committed a crime. And then they use that data to figure out how many, what you know, neighborhoods have a lot of crime. And then they send more police to those neighborhoods. And clearly, if you have more police in certain neighborhoods, you're going to arrest more people, right? And then that kind of seems to corroborate your ground truth. And you have this, you know, feedback loop that just kind of uh, amplifies societal biases. However, it's not just used for crime. It's used everywhere, even in employment. As she said, these predictive algorithms are being used everywhere. Brothers and sisters, this happens to us a lot, right? However, without being biased, this can happen to anyone. I'm just stating the fact that it happens too often of men and women of color. However, go check out her video, Very Educated Sister, and gets you hip to this B system and as of what's going on with this AI in regards to bias situations being recorded. However, when God allows us to go through these situations, let us learn to be content in whatever state we are most assuredly placed in by default and none of our own. The text says 1 Timothy 6, 6-9, But godliness with contentment is great gain. For we brought nothing into this world, and it is certain we can carry nothing out. And having food and raiment, let us be therewith content. But they that will be rich fall in temptation and a snare, and into many foolish and hurtful lusts, which draw men in destruction and perdition. The Desert Fathers, in conclusion, number six possessing nothing. 7. One of the monks told this story about John the Persian, how because of his many virtues he attained a deep simplicity and innocence. He lived in the part of Arabia that is near to Egypt. Once he borrowed a shilling from another monk and bought linen with which to make things. A brother came and asked him, Abba, Give me a little linen, and I will make myself a shirt to wear. John gave it him gladly. Then another came and asked him for a little linen, so that he could make himself a coat, and he gave it him. Many others came, and he gave simply and cheerfully. Later, the owner of the borrowed shilling arrived and asked for his money back. John said to him, I will get it for you. 
when he could not find anything with which to pay, he went to Jacob the steward to ask him for a shilling. On the way, he found a shilling lying on the ground. He did not touch it, but said a prayer and went back to his cell. Again, the owner of the shilling he had borrowed came and began to speak harshly to him, asking for his money. John said, I will give it back to you. John went away again and found the shilling still lying on the ground. Again, he prayed and went back to his cell. Then the owner began to be demanding and he said, Wait for me just once more and I will bring you your shilling. He went to that place where he had found the shilling on the ground. He said a prayer and picked it up and went to Jacob and said, Abba, on my way here I found this shilling on the ground. Of your kindness, tell all the neighbors to see if anyone has lost it. Then Jacob summoned everyone and announced the find, but they could discover no one who had lost it. Then John said to Jacob, If no one has lost it, give it to that monk there, because I owe him a shilling. Jacob was astonished that when John was being pressed to pay his debt, he had not picked the shilling up at once when he found it and used it in payment. There was another remarkable thing about John. If anyone came to borrow something from him, he did not take it in his own hands and lend it, but said, Come in, take what you need. When a borrower brought anything back, John used to say, Put it back where you found it. If a man borrowed something and did not bring it back, John said nothing to him about it. There is more word. Blessings and peace. Sportedly adultery, genetic poultry Sins a trophy that many wanna hold In the air like it's Grand Prix My master calm sees Gave sight to those that can't see Ever far if you can't speak How'd you know this is an evil world When a man who had no sin That's who people held stones at And spat at the black land From Nazareth to Bethlehem Much as a Dickian had man In order to feed the poor Everyone saw Lazarus come back to life The little girl when dead She just didn't snore Or expensive perfume What was it for? Straight it from the alabaster box When it was poured Bible you remember was What she's remembered for December 4th, a few months from Perim, examined within the leaven of sin. Herbs of the earth, natural medicine, broad day menaces. Christ didn't come to destroy the Veticus. Tick this off your checklist. Alas, he's not an Israelite media. You're trying to deceive the tribe of Benjamin. See the light when it's lit. Pay the most high reverence. He is foreverness. You stretch the heavens, net and measure depths. Big up my little nest. Taking bigger steps, young witnesses. Tell me what ends this is. Where the streets go, let it be told. Christ guide the sheepfold. The breeze blows between the leaves, though. Adam and Eve know where the trees grow. A pinch of sea salt. Make the wicked spirit flee so. We get our string notes and good vibes Glad to see folks, we don't need votes Yeshaya's the king that we chose Fast like a speedboat Pray like a madness when you see smoke Signal back like that cause that's my people Total recall and certain doctrines getting spread Infecting seven their head like hot irons Our enemies clocking us, daily plotting on us Nothing stopping us from where with Christ Who made everything that's in your sight I dare you try Disappeared about a love our lies Vanilla's white, pigs are pinkish red Seeds are fed that live in light The first fruit brought from the dead Will give us life and snap the curse Watch him burst through like Abraham's bosom swung open Is what they showed him in second Ezra's out the apocrypha 40 books taken out the original King James 1611 Watch us bring names about things change when things ain't going his way That's when sin came through violence I never knew silence at high volumes Could have made all the injustice we gone through were minors